What one's your one? Go on. What one's your one? I want to say money, but I feel like that's very cheesy, so. This is not a dating show. This is a blind social experiment where we got people in an attempt to answer the age-old question. Is it possible to form a connection with the opposite sex without seeing each other at all? We put 15 minutes on the clock and offered our daters a few lifelines to help them out. Video call a friend. A dater gets to rely on a friend to give a visual description of their potential match through a video call. Sneak peek. A dater gets to sneak a peek at the social media of their potential match. Here's the catch. Faces are blurred out in photos. During the date, they are both allowed to skip only one question that's asked of them. Every other question must be answered. When the time is up, both daters have a choice. If they form a connection and both say yes, they get to meet. If both or anyone says no, they will never see each other. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Peeker. Hi, my name is Medlin Vensto. Hi, my name is Maiwa, also known as Mayor Frosh. And I'm a 22 year old. I'm 23 years old. Content creator. I'm a media director, content creator, actor, and I'm a movie person. Yeah. What is my pet peeve? When I catch you in a lie. I don't like people chewing loudly. But then you keep lying, like lights cover another lie. And I just there looking at you like. It irritates me a lot. Like I really hate it. I, I like when people are playing with me. So what is my spec? Hmm. I like really tall, dark skinned guys. I think I like them slim thick. That's body wise, but every other thing just like good vibes basically. Highly intellectual. One thing I love about my body. Everything. My face. But for me, I think maybe it's my dimple. I love how unique and very beautiful I am. Any expectations from the show? I just expect myself to have a lot of fun. I like the unexpected, so fingers crossed. Knock, knock. Hi. Knock, knock. Hi. <laughs> okay, I guess I went wrong. What? I guess I went wrong. I was expecting to see who's there. Oh. Yeah. You wanna try again? <laughs> sure. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Don. Don't know. Don't know who you are, but I bet you're really beautiful. <laughs> okay. Um, can you tell me about yourself? Um, um, I am a beauty influencer. I am 22. Okay. I love music. I can sing too. What about you? Oh yeah, I'm a fan of good music too. I love, love music. It's very good. Um, I mean a director, content creator, and also an influencer. Kind of the same. Sorry? Is it kind of the same? Are you asking if I can sing? No, I said it's kind of the same. Yeah. Like, I mean, have something like in common. Connect on the first level, I guess. I like how you sound. Thank you. I like my voice. Yeah. I like your voice too. Thank you. So judging from my voice, uh, what's your kind of guy like? What'd you say? What's your kind of guy like? What's my kind of guy? Yeah. I like tall, dark skin. Okay. I think that's like the top two of like what I like. So just those two qualities, yeah? Not just those two, but like that's like the most important. All right. Yeah. Is that all? That's not all. You want to give me more? No. So do you think I match those prospects? So I don't know. What do you think? Give me your best guess. By the sound of your voice, I don't think you are light skinned. Sorry? By the sound of your voice, I think you are tall or something like that. Because you have this masculine kind of sound. So I feel like you're tall, probably. Mm. I don't know. I'm curious, what's tall for you? Anything more than six feet. <laughs> Nothing less than six feet. Yes, yeah, nothing less than six feet. Yeah. About five eleven. It's just there. Just. It's not bad, but it's not the best. Okay. Do you have a pocket list? Yes, I do. Is there anything crazy on it? I don't think I'm the crazy type, or it, there's nothing dangerous. It's just like things I'll just like to achieve or do. 
I never get, got to do like when I was younger or something like that, but it's nothing too crazy. Yeah? Are you an introvert? Yes, I am. Big time. Big time introvert. Not mm. Nice, nice. Yeah, I am. Although my alter ego is more like an ambivert. Like, I'm only outside when I have to. You don't sound like an introvert. I don't. At all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I said, my alter ego. You know, I'm a content creator, so sure. times I have to wear a character to yeah. do my thing. Exactly. Yeah. So, what do you do for fun? I love to go out with my friends, go to the club. I like to write songs sometimes that I may never show anybody, but I feel like that's fun for me. Can you sing for me? <laughs> Not right here. Oh, are you shy? Very shy. Okay. Can you sing for me one on one? If there's chemistry at the end, it's probably a second. Okay. But judging from your voice, though, you. Um, you sound like someone who's always the center of attraction. No, that's, that's not true. Yeah? Not at all. Well, I beg to differ because if not, this place would fall without you, and so would I. <laughs> <laughs> no. Am I being too forward? No, back to the street. Okay. What's one crazy thing you would love to do? Crazy thing I would love to do. Yeah. I think I want to go skinny dipping. Sorry? Skinny dipping. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Okay. Although I don't know how to swim. Yeah, you don't know how to swim, yeah? I do I don't know how to swim. Same here. Why don't you know how to swim? If I ever go to the pool just to play around the water. How old are you? 23. That's. So young for you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a couple months. Did I get that first? <laughs> <laughs> Who got it first? <laughs> no. Well, she said she's an introvert, so maybe she's not really a picture person. Would okay. like to speak to her friend? Oh, yeah, yeah, my friend. Yo. Talk to me, man. What are you saying? She making sense? Uh, yeah, she's nice. All right. What kind of vibe is she giving? What do you say? What do you think? What kind of vibe is she giving? Um, I think I think she, I think you like her. She's nice. Okay. Yeah. It, it, it knows me best, so I don't doubt. All right, man. All right. So my friend says you're nice. Thank you. Well, I didn't doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your take on life, though? My take on life? Mm -hmm. um, I feel like life is hard and not also hard at the same time. It just depends on how you see things. If you're like positive or you're negative. And having God in general will just like help, help you figure a lot of things out. So I think that's my take okay. on life. Yeah. So you know the you only live once kind of principle? Yes, actually. You only actually only live once, so that's just the truth. So indirectly you're saying you're down to do crazy things. Sorry, repeat your question. Sorry? What's your question? I said indirectly, that means you're down to do crazy things, yeah? No, not a hundred percent, because I still have a lot of fears. I can't do everything, but I can attempt to do some things. What's your biggest fear? My biggest fear. I feel like my biggest fear in general is ending up alone. Just alone? Yeah. Oh, you sound so nice to be alone. It's so nice to be alone. I mean, yeah, I haven't seen you, but why would you want? Why would you be scared of that? Because everybody needs somebody. It might not True. be like. Have you been served breakfast before? I think everybody has. Served <laughs> <laughs> I just have. Like, yeah, but you didn't answer the question. No. What's the question? Have you been served breakfast before? No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you lying? Yes. Okay. Did you cry? Yes. Did you cry when you had your... Don't worry, we've all been there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've all been there. <laughs> so what's your greatest achievement? My greatest achievement so far, I think it's moving from another city just like to chase my dreams and Ooh. without any plan or anything like that. Where are you from? 
I'm from Port Harcourt. Port Harcourt? Yeah. So you came to Lagos? Yeah, like two years ago. To pursue the life of what, a content creator or...? It's not, I didn't really have a plan. I just knew... I came to Lagos like twice and I just felt like... It felt like home. I just felt like I just needed to be here. I didn't have any plan. I did not really have a valid reason. I just... Really? Showed up. Yeah. Sneak peek. Um, my question is, um, describe women in like two words. Should describe? Women. Women. Yeah. Um, <laughs> men are... Don't be cheesy. Nah, I'm not gonna be cheesy. Full of miseries and um, lovable. What do you say? Women are full of mysteries and they're lovable. I don't think they're full of mysteries. Why? I don't know. I feel like men always make look like women are like aliens or created or wired a different way. I don't know. It's, hmm. it's quite the opposite. It's like we are normal. Yeah, yeah. No one says it's not okay. Would Whenever you, you ask a guy to describe a woman, it's always like guys, it's just your this, your that. It's not. But mysteries could be like combinations of everything random is not necessarily maybe in the light you're thinking about it or oh, maybe it's light no i think that's what you think i'm thinking about between a, between a man and a woman who do you think is more direct a woman why because i don't think women are different from men in fact i won't say better but they are more reasonable they're more what reasonable okay I feel like they think before they do things a lot more than men. Men always like go with the flow, like living for now and not tomorrow and that kind of idea. So conversation, communication wise, do you think women are more direct? Yeah, we are definitely more direct. Alright, fair enough. So what's, what do you think about being precious? About being what? Precious. Precious? Yeah. Explain. Question for that, please. I don't understand question. I don't know. I just threw it out there. Like, I think that's like a social media rave of people being precious. So I just wanted to know what you think. Honestly, honestly, don't understand question. <laughs> you honestly don't what? I honestly don't understand question. Okay, it's all right. So, what do you, yeah, you went through my pictures, yeah? Yeah, I did. What do you think? I think you're nice. Okay. Do you think you're bad? Do I think I'm what? <laughs> you're bad. Nah, I'm not bad. Do you think you're a flirt? Hmm. Would you ever agree to something called subconscious flirting? Do I ever agree? Yeah. Would you ever agree? Yeah. Okay. But then let's say subconsciously. I don't think it can happen subconsciously. I feel like it's, it's, I feel like flirting is very intentional. Yeah? Yeah. You sure? Hundred percent. Um I don't really agree. This person is very intentional. You see someone like, like oh, I like this person, I'm going to like, talk to them and stuff like that. Not true, uh, that's a lighty percent, but psychologically, like, sometimes you could just, there are times where I talk to people and then they're like, there's something about your eyes and like, what's up with my eyes? And generally they're like, I don't know, but they can't stare at me while I'm talking to them. I don't know why that is. And that's a situation I've been in whereby I was literally not doing anything and just speaking. But what if we're just like, I don't think that's flirting though, but, but I, still, I still 100% feel like flirting is very intentional, honestly. Okay. Yeah. I guess you're right then. Nice. Okay. okay. So, what are your love languages? Gifts given. Mm hmm. Physical touch. Yeah. Act of service. Come on, man. <laughs> ha 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 ha. Call. Would she be? How many relationships have you been into? What? How many relationships have you been into? Just one. One. Yeah. Okay. And it was when I was like 18. Yeah. Yeah. So do you feel like you're inexperienced then? 
I think I was just playing. It wasn't something serious, yeah? It wasn't something serious. I don't think I've ever been in something that serious. But are you considering it? What? Are you considering it? I, I think I'm old enough to consider that serious. Okay. I am. If it happens, it happens. If it happens, it happens. Yeah. So are you intentional about it or for the fear of you said you don't want to be alone or end up alone? I think it's both. Sometimes I feel like I want to. Then yeah. when it comes to me, I, I feel like I chicken out. I just get scared. And well, like when it gets serious. Yeah. Why? Because I don't know. You start thinking of like future plans and stuff. Like I'm being with one person for the rest of your life. It's actually very scary. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Do you have commitment issues? Yes, I do have commitment issues. <laughs> I think I do. Why? Is it fear of breakfast or you just feel like you can't do it? It's not that. It's a lot. I feel like as I grow older, I my taste in me changes sometimes. And what if at this next phase of my life I'll no longer want this person? But for the fact that I'm in a relationship with them, I just can't do anything about it. I just have to stay and just end up getting married to somebody I don't want. Yeah, love is tricky. Very sometimes tricky. at the end of the day, it all boils down to you have to choose to love the person. Because like you said, you can wake up someday and then you're looking for reasons why you love the person in the first place but then i feel like you get them in the little things that you share with your partner or the little things that makes them who they are and why you love them for who they are i guess but look isn't that like punishing yourself do you, so you consider it a punishment no 100 percent i'm not saying you should like end up like cheating on them or etc but I'm saying that it's if you look, it feels like a punishment. Like you know, you don't want to do this, but you just have to do it. Yeah, but okay. Before we even jump into that, don't you think there are some things that would lead you to believing that a punishment? Say, maybe there's no peace at home, or you just the vibe, the energy is not there anymore. What if everything has been like a hundred right from the first time they met? Like let's say couples who have been together for like. I don't know, 30, 40 years, and then they've always found reasons to stay together. Not because of the punishment, but because the salvo of the relationship is still there. They still not keep things alive. Or if they don't know your type. What if what? They are not just your type. Well, I feel like you shouldn't have gotten to the stage of marriage if that was the case. I feel like it's, it's easier to see because there's some. I know I've been in a situation where, but I know that. This person wasn't my type, but it's not like, like I did not like them. Okay. Or I just deep down I knew they were not my type, and I feel like I just stayed for the sake of like, oh, I have to be in a relationship, or at least he likes me, or at least he's doing this and doing that. Oh. Which is weird. Well, I, I just certain professions that you know, um, a guy would do that would turn you off, or like you know. You wouldn't consider that. Can you marry an actor? Yeah, I can actually. Okay, you don't have problems with that? I like industry men. Okay, so if you say marriage is maybe like a punishment, but not 100%, are you like the open relationship? No, I, I'm not saying marriage is a punishment. I'm just saying the idea of like picking the wrong person or it's, I don't know. It's just the idea of picking somebody. Okay. That just feels like a punishment sometimes because you end up being a girl sometimes hard. Yeah. What turns you on? What? What turns you on? <sighs> I wouldn't say money, but I feel like that's very cheesy. So as long as I'm attracted to everything you gotta do is what turn you on. Every single thing. As long as I like you for I'm attracted to you then you don't really have to do much. You can just smile and that's it. Mm, see. Okay. Are you going for any concert this December? Yeah. Are you going for any concert? Yeah. Which one? Buona. That when is it? Uh forgotten the date. Laughing. <laughs> Mary, do you think he's my type? Yes. I can speak, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Do you think it's my type? Hmm? No. Okay. So what tribe are you from? What? What tribe are you from? Um, I'm not really big on traditions. I don't know much about it, but I'm from Bonnie Island. 
Bonnie Island. I am pretty sure you don't know where that is. No idea. It's in River State. Okay. Where are you from? Where do you think I'm from? What? Where do you think I'm from? Lagos. Mm, fair enough. So what tribe do you think I'm from? I, that I don't know. You have to tell me. I'm a Yoruba guy. Sound like one. Yeah? Yeah. So would you marry for your love or money? Both. <laughs> if you had to pick one though. I feel like... I won't say love, but that's very cheesy. But I feel like you can get attached to anybody and fall in love with anybody. So money can come first, then you fall in love with them. Money can what? Money can come first, then you fall in love with them. Also, the person has to have money before you fall in love with them. Yes. So if they have money, you can't fall in love with them. Yes. So you can marry for money and not necessarily for love. It's, I, I, I will not marry because if there's nothing there, there's no chemistry. But I don't think I have to be in love. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. I'm not saying I'm going to do it, but okay. if if it comes to that, it's very possible to just pick money. Okay. Are you a car person? Am I what? Car person. A car? Yeah. I don't really know much about cars, to be honest. But you like fancy cars? I like what? Fancy cars? Yeah, I do. And you don't have anyone in mind? I don't know. My problem is I don't know their names, but I could like point them out, but I don't know their names. Okay. So let me ask you this. So say um, you're with someone, yeah? yeah. The person is well to do. You love him. And then along the line, things turn out like maybe not so great for him. But you don't know how long that's going to take before he probably gets back on his feet or something. Yeah. Would you, and then there's someone else on the line. The person is obviously, let's say, three times richer than the person you're with currently. And you know, and it's really on your matter. Would you leave your, the current guy for him? It's possible. Because, hear me out. I feel like... I feel like women like to like stay and figure things out and like maybe tomorrow will be better but if like there's a high chance he can get his stuff like working again he might decide to like be someone else or be married and I was like stuck on the fact that I wasted some part of my life a couple of years waiting for him to figure his stuff out so I would not just wait but, like, like, if I get you correctly you're saying if things let her get good he might marry someone else. Yeah, he might cheat, he might do anything. So the answer based on the fact that you, you're expecting him to cheat or... I'm you... not expecting, I'm just saying there's a possibility. And that's why you would leave him? Yeah. Okay. The daters have come to the end of their session. Now, they will make their decision and answer the ultimate question. Did they form a genuine connection? How was the date? It was okay at first. The date was pretty intense. We got to like the climax and then started coming down. I wasn't really seeing him or seeing his facial expressions. I was just imagining the entire thing. So I just said yes because I was curious. I wanted to see what I've been speaking with. But match-wise, mm, I don't think so. The experiment, do you think it was successful? The experiment itself was actually fun. It was looking complicated because I didn't know what to ask, but it was actually really fun. It's good. It's an eye opener. I mean, you can, you know, it's crazy. You can know someone and then you might have nothing in common and then you might not know, you know, an individual, but you have so many things in common. And even when you eventually do meet, it's just like I see you've known the person for years. So it's a very good initiative. I think I like that. What do you think he said, yes or no? I feel like he said no, and I also feel like he said yes at the same time, but I was thinking like, no. We didn't really have a lot in common, we had like different views on a lot of things. I think she said no, I don't know. <laughs> I think she said no. 
at the beginning i was sure of years but towards the end uh, i wasn't so sure stay tuned for another episode of peaker